Hey guys, I just wanted to show you some souvenirs I've been collecting along the abandoned railroads. So what I have here are three date nails. Now, when I was first walking the railroads, I wasn't exactly sure what they were. Didn't know much about the railroads. I was doing some videos on historical places, some buildings and um, town pounds, things like that. And somehow I just ended up on the rail trails and eventually on an abandoned railroad. So I saw the nail heads with numbers in them and honestly, knowing nothing about it, I didn't know what they were. So when I got home from that one of those first trips, I did some research and that's where I learned about date nails. What they would do was pound these nails into the railroad ties so they could keep track of how old they were. So they kind of knew, unless you could just visually inspect that it was rotted or broken or something, they would know it would, you know, it would be a certain number of years to replace them. I think some of them could, could have probably lasted around 30 years or so. That's what I read anyway. And they're actually treated too. So they, it would help, uh, you know, make them last a little longer. They're actually replacing some on the railroad right around me right now on the uh, North Coast tracks. Um, they do that a little differently today. <laughs> so the first recorded date nails were used in 1897. And in most of the United States, they were done by 1969. So these ones I found, of course, on the abandoned railroads in Ossipee. So this is a 1951. Really, actually in pretty good shape. It's pretty fat still. Now, I didn't want to pry them out of the railroad ties, even though I wanted to collect some of them. So I had to look for some loose ones. So I, I got lucky seeing this one was just standing up barely in some rotted wood. So I just grabbed it. It, it just pulled right out. Um, probably 1954 four or so is the latest one I found so far. This one I just found yesterday on the, the um, Cotton Valley Rail Trail, 1949. And you probably saw it in my video. I was digging around in a rotted uh, railroad tie. Couldn't find anything. I was about to give up, took a couple steps and then saw it sitting there. And there was a little crack in the wood around it. So I touched it and it was loose. There was no wood underneath uh, that first layer. So it was just loose and I pulled it right up. Now, this is the oldest one I found so far. This was up near Polly's Crossing in Ossipee, 1929. And I saw a lot of these. I haven't seen anything earlier than that though. So 1929, I, I saw a few of them, like I said. This one, same situation. It was just kind of sitting in a railroad tie and it looked solid. But I just, for some reason, went down to touch it and it started moving so the that top surface of the railroad tie was like paper thin and there was no wood around it it was just hanging there so it just pulled right out and you can see how much this one, this one is worn so yeah i'd like to collect some more of these it's really difficult sometimes um <laughs> like i said i got lucky with the 1949 i just i just happened to be looking at a railroad tie close to it and saw it sitting there in like a crack. I figured there's probably no wood around it holding it. So, so I grabbed it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you these. I had to kind of learn on my own what they were, um, you know, doing research and then other people in the comments um, talking about it. But I've actually seen them for sale online and things like that, but I'm probably not going to get a ton of them. But so far, you know, 1951 to 54 are the the latest ones I, I found, or the most modern. And 1929 so far is the oldest one. I'd be shocked if I found one older than that. But you just never know walking those abandoned rails. So anyway, I just wanted to show these to you. I think they're interesting, interesting part of history. And um, I've actually collected some um, rail anchors and things like that. I'm eventually going to get like a, maybe a piece of rail and a, clamp, a, a plate or something, try to kind of piece everything together, make a little display or something. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's been fun walking the, the trails, I, the uh, rail trails and the tracks. Um, I'll continue on the Cotton Valley. I'm, that's going to be, you know, a different parts. I, the, the one I posted yesterday is part one. So it's a 12 mile uh, rail trail. So you know, I'm definitely not going to do it in just one or two trips. You know, I can only walk so far at a time. So 
but it, it'll be fun along the way, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some interesting things to see. And I'll jump around to some other abandoned tracks here and there, wherever I find them. All right, I'll stop rambling. <laughs> I just wanted to show these to you. I think they're very cool, and I hope to find some more soon. Let me know if you have any, and let me know what the oldest ones you have are. Um, like I said, 29, boy, it'd be tough to find one older than that, but around here anyway. Because you have to figure, if they only ran for a certain amount of time, those ones would have, have been changed out. And considering the, the, you know, the most recent ones I'm seeing are around 54, I don't know if I've seen anything beyond 1954. You know, those tracks have been abandoned. Some of these tracks I've been walking, especially at Ossipee, probably sometime in the early 60s, maybe mid 60s. So it would make sense, you know, because then then they, you know, didn't have enough time to change them. That, that run was over and those ties just sat there. So, yeah, so it'll be uh, interesting to see if I find any more. I'll be looking for them. Sometimes they're easy to spot, sometimes not so much. But um, yeah. If you're ever walking, uh, you know, abandoned railroads, take a look in the railroad ties. You'll see them either on one side or the other. And they're not in every one of them. Maybe they were at one time, I don't know, but I haven't seen them in every single railroad tie. But uh, yeah, look down, you see a little number <laughs> on a nail head and try to find a loose one. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys soon.